Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Saturday and how are you? This is Dr. Yoned with another episode of Baby Talk. And today being Saturday, we are doing our read time with baby. Now, I've been talking about reading for a while, but I want to share with you a little bit of information regarding reading and how important it is. You know, Warren Buffett, when he was asked his secret to success, he pointed to a number of books that he had in his house. And he said, read at least 500 pages every day because that knowledge that you get from reading works, it builds up like compound interest. And you know, Warren Buffett actually re reads or read 800 pages a day, not even 500. And up to now at this point, well, I don't know if it's this point, this point, but just recently he was reading about eight hours a day. Now, what's the point of this? Why am I saying this to babies? Well, the reading habit is developed when you are young. I want you to note that, make a note of that and read to baby in the morning and in the evening and let reading be a staple in your house. Read all kinds of books, read fantasy, fiction, nonfiction, informational books, which would fall into the nonfiction category and expose your child to a world of learning. So for our read time this morning, I want you to gather the family together and let's sit, let's practice what we preach. We can't tell our children to read when we aren't reading. So come with me, let's open a great book and read together. Which of us don't like surprises? And today our book, let's see, it's a little glittery here. Our book is The Surprise Party. The Surprise Party by Pat Hutchkins. Lots of your kiddos are turning one and four months and six months and you are partying with them. Let's see what this surprise party book is all about and how it's conveyed. When I look on the cover of my book, I see the title and I see the author of the book. Now there are pictures which we call illustrations and these pictures tell me that perhaps my book is about animals. Maybe animals are having a party and they are trees. So maybe the animals are outside and the book has something to do with trees. The front cover, the back cover of the book. Let's get started. Who are the main characters in our book today? That's a great question to ask your child as you read, depending on the age of the child. For our little ones, our babies, just let them look and touch and point out the colors and the animals and the objects. For our older ones, have them think a little more and ask them questions. Who is the main character of the bay of the book? What's the plot? What's happening? You know, how, what's the problem? How is the problem solved in the book? All right, so let's get started. I'm having a party tomorrow. I'm having a party tomorrow, whispered Rabbit. It's a surprise. Who's Rabbit speaking to? Rabbit, speak into the owl. Let's see what the owl does next. Rabbit is hoeing the, hoeing the parsley tomorrow, whispered owl. It's a surprise. Who is owl speaking to? The squirrel. Rabbit is going to see tomorrow, whispered squirrel. It's a surprise. Rabbit is climbing a tree tomorrow, whispered Duck. It's a surprise. Where's Duck? 
duck speaking to mouse. Let's see what mouse says. Rabbit is having a flea tomorrow, whispered mouse. It's a surprise. Mouse tells fox. Let's see what fox says next. Rabbit is raiding the poultry tomorrow, whispered fox. It's a surprise. Reading poor poetry, said frog to himself. His own, I suppose. How dull. The next day, Rabbit went to see Frog. Come with me, Frog, he said. I have a surprise for you. No, thank you, said Frog. I know your poor tree. It puts me to sleep. And he hopped away. So Rabbit went to see Fox. Come with me, Fox, he said. I have a surprise for you. No, thank you, said Fox. I don't want you raiding the poultry. I'll get the blame. And he did what? He ran off. So Rabbit went to see Mouse. Come with me, Mouse, he said. I have a surprise for you. No, thank you, said Mouse. A rabbit riding flea? A rabbit riding a flea? Even I am too big for that. And Mouse scampered away. So Rabbit went to see Duck. Come with me, Duck, he said. I have a surprise for you. No, thank you, said Duck. Squirrel told me you were climbing a tree. Really? You're too old for that sort of thing. And the duck waddled away. Poor rabbit. So rabbit went to see squirrel. Come with me, squirrel, he said. I have a surprise for you. No, thank you, said squirrel. I know you're going to see. But goodbyes make me sad. And squirrel ran up the tree. So Rabbit went to see Owl. Owl, he said, I don't know what you think I am doing, but I'm having a party. And this time, everyone heard clearly. A party, they shouted. Why didn't you say so? A party? How nice. And it was a nice surprise. A nice party and such a surprise. The end. Oh, this was a fun, funny book. Did you like this book? Yes. Sometimes our words get mixed up and the message gets mixed up. But in the end, the message was conveyed when it was spoken loud and clear. Surprises are awesome. Books are awesome. And sometimes when you read into a book, you are surprised by the ending or you are surprised by the characters or the plot. Who was our main character in this book? Of course, of course, it was Rabbit. Now, I am so glad that you joined me this morning, and I am sure you were excited and happy to hear the story. Open a book with your family. Open a book anytime you need information, anytime you need to decrease your stress, anytime you need to become excited, anytime, any place, anyhow. Read, read, read. Read to baby, read to your toddler, read to your adults. Group reading is fantastic. And let's develop a generation of readers who will become successful individuals. Thank you for joining me this morning and have a fantastic day reading together.